Hey guys, in a previous lesson we learned about the number line extended after the zero and we've introduced what we have or what we call as negative numbers. Now we're going to use the number line to learn how to add and subtract directed or negative numbers. Now at the start you're going to use the number line but after you get the hang of it you're going to become so quick and so good that you're not going to use the number line at all. But it's always good, I always tell my students for the first couple of times that you are using and you are working with these questions even if it takes you one whole exercise or 15 or 20 or even 30 to 40 questions that you need to do using the number line there's nothing wrong with it use it and after you get the hang of it you won't need the number line again but for the start let's use the number line to get an understanding of how it actually works here we have questions and these questions involve negative or directed numbers we're going to go through one by one and you're going to see it's a very easy process using the number line and hopefully by the end of the lesson you can probably even do them without a number line as well. Okay, let's start. We have this question saying negative 4 plus 3. Negative 4 plus 3. What we do, we use the number line. We start at negative 4. So we can put our pen or our uh, finger on negative 4 there it is and it says we have to add 3 now a quick rule to remember when we're adding we're moving towards the right we're moving towards the addition we're moving towards towards the plus direction and if we're minusing or we're taking away we're going towards the left remember that rule very important so negative 4 plus 3 we uh, start at negative 4 and we add 3, we're going to the right because we're adding 1, 2, 3. Our answer is negative 1. We start at negative 4, add 3, 1, 2, 3. As you can see, I'm counting the moves. 1 move, 2 moves, 3 moves. So negative 1 is our answer. Then we have another example, minus 2 or negative 2 plus 6. What do we do first? We start at negative 2. Negative 2, we're adding 6. Addition meaning we're going towards the right. So we're adding 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our answer is positive 4. We don't need to write positive, we just write 4 because we know 4 means positive 4. And notice when I was counting, I started from negative 2, I said 1, 2. I had to ensure that I had a 0. I've seen students make a mistake where they just move and they go straight to the other side, forgetting the 0. Very important, the 0 is a number, we need to add it part of the process. So negative 2 plus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our answer is 4. Let's see if you can do this one. Where are we going to start? At negative 9. So negative 9, it says negative 9 plus 7. So we start at negative 9. Add, we're going towards the right. And we're going to add 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our answer is negative to negative 9, moving 7 times, we end at negative 2. Minus 5 plus 8. Again, we start at negative 5 or minus 5, negative 5 there, we're adding 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are on the positive 3. Positive 3, 3, that's our answer. Now, we have something a little bit different. We have negative 3 plus negative 2. Negative 3 plus negative 2. Okay, what do we do here? We have a plus and a negative. Whenever we have a plus and a negative next to each other, side by side, they don't like each other. They don't like each other at all. So what do they do? They have a big fight. They have a fight. And they always, the negative will always win. The negative 
will always win. So whenever you see a plus a negative negative next to each other like that, side by side, they don't like each other, they have a big fight, and negative will always win. So, how do we do it now? It becomes negative 3 minus 2. Negative 3 minus 2. So we start at negative 3, and we minus. Now we said positive, or we addition, we go to the right. Minus, of course, we're going to go to the left. Minus 3, minus 2, or negative 3, minus 2, minus 3, minus 2, 1, 2. Our answer is negative 5. The number is getting smaller. Once again, negative 4 plus, in brackets, negative 3. Now the brackets, don't get confused, it's just exactly the same as the top. So don't get confused because the brackets are there, it's just telling us that there is a plus and a minus just to distinguish them. Sometimes you'll see the brackets, sometimes you don't. However, disregard them. Minus 4 plus minus 3 plus minus, we said. They don't like one another. They have a fight. So, and always minus will win. So, minus 4 minus 3. We start at minus 4 and we go back 3. 1, 2, 3. So, and minus 4. One, two, three. So our answer, negative four minus three is negative seven. Another one, five plus negative six in brackets. We said we disregard the brackets here. We notice a plus and a minus. We know, what do they do? They have a fight and the minus wins. So five, take away six. We start at five. Notice it's a positive 5, so we start at 5 in the positive side, minus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at negative 1. So we go to the left because we're taking away, and our answer is negative 1. 5 take away 6 is negative 1. Then we have 7 plus negative 7. Again, a plus and a minus next to each other. They don't like one another. They have a fight. Minus will always win. 7, take away 7. I mean, it's too easy, but we'll still use the number line. We start at 7, minus 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Obviously, our answer is going to go and become nothing. 0, 7, take away 7 is zero. So this is the basics of how to use a number line to add or subtract directed numbers. We're going to do a couple more examples, that way you get the hang of it, and by now you should already have a very good understanding of how to solve these number sentences using the number line, and hopefully you probably even now see the pattern where you don't even need the number line at all. Now that we know how to use the number line, we can actually solve a little bit more harder questions. Let's see how they're done. In this example, we have negative 3 minus, and in brackets, negative 3 plus 5. We know that we have to use brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. We still have to follow that order in all our number sentences. Now here, we notice we have brackets. So we have to complete what's in the brackets first before we go outside. In the brackets, we have negative 3 plus 5. So, using the rules, negative 3 plus 5, where do we start? We start at negative 3. We add 5. We're going to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our answer is 2. Now, negative 3 minus 2. We start at negative 3 and we minus 2. 1, 2. So, our answer in full, negative 5. Minus 3 minus 2 is negative 5. We start from the brackets and we move on. Here we have 9 plus in brackets, negative 2 minus 6 close bracket. So we follow the order of operations which says that we have to do the brackets first. To do that, negative 6 mi or minus 2 minus 6, we start at negative 2 and we minus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So negative 8, then 9 plus negative 8. 9 plus negative 8. We notice a plus and a minus next to each other. And we know they don't like one another. They have a fight. Minus will always win. So it's 9 take away 8. 9 take away 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And of course, the answer is 1. 9 take away 8. Our answer here is 1. One last example, negative 6 plus, in brackets, 2 times 5. Again, order of operation states we have to complete the brackets first. So 2 times 5 is 10. Negative 6 plus 10, so we start at negative 6. We add 10, so we get to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our answer is positive 4 or just 4. So here we've done three examples where we do need to use the order of operations, but exactly if we follow the steps, we follow the process, we won't go wrong. The more practice you do with the number line, you'll get the hang of it, and hopefully later on you won't even need the number line at all.